Welcome to Home with Simone and a huge thank you to each and every single one of you that subscribe to my channel. Whether new or existing subscribers, I really do appreciate you all. Today's video is my Dollarama haul. I am in love with all of the items that I got. The first one is the mini spatula and whisk set. This has to be one of my favorite buys. It is a heat resistant, dishwasher safe, and non-scratch five piece silicone and stainless steel set. It comes with a jar scraper, classic scraper, an all purpose scraper, basting, and a whisk. And I really, really love this. This was under $5. Then I have the silicone tongs. They were $4.50. It is dishwasher safe, stainless steel handles. It's non-scratch and there is an elevated rest, which is right here. I think it's pretty cool and I'm super excited to use it. Then we have the 10 inch and 12 inch silicone and stainless steel non-scratch coated wire dish uh, dishwasher safe silicone whisk set and finally we have the jumbo utensil this is a two-piece set there is the slotted turner and then we have the scoop colander and the one thing i really like about all of these items is that they were under five dollars when you Amazon them or you Google search it, I'm not seeing anything in these price ranges unless they're already listed on a dollar store website. So I really did feel like I got a steal with these items. And let me just jump over here because I almost forgot about the grater. It is the four sided cone grater. It's 10 inches and there is a large grating surface. It's super comfortable to hold when you're grating and it does have four sides to it. Each side offers a different blade for the grating. So that's it for this collection. I love it. I love the colors and this is really the vibe that I'm going for. So I'm happy that I'm finding these items. They're very affordable and check out your Dollarama before you go anywhere else because chances are you might find something that is of good quality and good price super budget friendly and i got everything that i wanted let's jump on to some of the other items that i got from dollarama the next items i got is the rama designs i don't know if i'm saying that right but i got two of the silicone scrapers and this is one of them here the other one i'll show you closely after but the cool thing is i really like that on the scraper itself and this could be a sticker i haven't actually opened this but either way, it's, it's included in the in the packaging. It tells you to the degrees that this can go to. So you have 220 degrees Celsius or 428 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a silicone head, and I love that it is heat resistant. So this is super helpful because it lets you know exactly what temperatures this can handle. So you're not damaging your spatula. The other thing that's really cool is this is supposed to be stain resistant. So I'm hoping that it is truthfully stain resistant because I really do like these and I haven't had spatulas for quite some time because I've been purging some of the items in my kitchen and replacing them with things I find more aesthetically pleasing but also functional. And this is the other silicone uh, spatula, pretty much the same except for if you look at it here, this one is a full spatula and this one is a partial spatula, but they both do pretty much the same job. Really like these, $1.50. I checked them out on Amazon and I'm not seeing anything cheaper than around $7. So if you ask me, that's a steal to get it for $1.50 from Dollarama. I paid $3 for two. And on Amazon, you're looking at around $7 for one. Keep it in mind, guys, the prices I'm giving you that I'm kind of comparing it to is the Canadian Amazon. So I know sometimes in the States, when you guys look at your Amazon or you look at the stores I'm mentioning, you're seeing a different price point. I'm speaking about the Canadian dollars. Next item I got is this super cool pizza wheel cutter. 
I think this is really neat. I've never had one before. This is by Paradox Classic. It is a pizza wheel cutter. It's easy grip, designed for comfort, and it's also dishwasher safe. If you look in the side of it, it tells you all of the little details. So it shows that it is food safe, dishwasher safe. It's been fully tested and approved and recyclable. So that's always pretty cool. I paid $4.75. I have never ever in my life used a pizza cutter that was just the wheel alone. I always use the traditional ones with the handle. Uh, this definitely seems like it will save some space in my drawer because I don't have the handle attached to it. So this might just lay flat and just be a lot more um, compact than having the one with the handles. It's pretty cool that they even have a care and use on here. It clearly states it's not a toy. Make sure you store it safely. Keep out of the reach of children. So something tells me that this may not be the sharpest thing, but sharp enough that it could cut. So if you have little ones, just make sure that you're keeping these like the rest of your sharp uh, utensils out of reach. But I really like this and I'm excited to use it. I'll let you guys know how it goes in another video. Uh, if there's any issues with it, if I recommend it. But for now, if I have to give a comment on purchasing based on price and value, I would say for $4.75, this is a good price. I did find it on Amazon. It was like $16. So I think I uh, I saved quite a few bucks on this one. The next items that I got are these gorgeous knives. This is by Sabatier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I paid $5 for it in Dollarama. Look at the handle. This is what made me fall in love with it. If you guys haven't seen my Dollarama find shorts, check it out because you'll see some of these items that I'm talking about on today's video, including the other colors that this knife comes in. There's three colors. I went for this beautiful white kind of a pearl it's so pretty like i wish i could you could see it in person i really like it one of the things though i i did read a lot of reviews and you know people always complain about their knives and utensils rusting everything has instructions for a reason and on the back of this the first thing i looked at was the instructions to make sure it was something that i really wanted to be bothered with it's hand washing so for cutlery like this, you need to make sure that you wash it and dry immediately because I have a knife set and the Amazon reviews are terrible. And guys, I've had my knife set for like five plus years, not one rust mark on it. It cannot just be treated like a regular knife that you just throw in your dishwasher and leave or you put on your dish drainer. It has to dry immediately. So if you're willing to, you know, take the necessary steps then you can maintain the knife sets. It's worth it because this is gorgeous. I did see a couple complete sets by the brand Sabatier, uh, Sabatier on um, Amazon, but nothing this pretty. So this is the 8-inch chef knife, and I got two of these because we all know with Dollarama, you're not going to find the same things over and over. Dollarama is like the home sense of dollar stores. When you see it, you want to buy it. <laughs> so desperation, I ordered it online from Amazon and it was like $14. This one is around $17. And it came today and the handle is not as beautiful. I mean, this is a 3.5 inch paring knife. But when you look at the handles, you can clearly see. And I hope that the camera, let me move my hand out of the way. I do hope the camera is picking it up you can clearly see a difference. Now there's a little bit of a similarity aside from it just being white, that you can see a little bit of pearliness coming through, but I'm really hoping that Dollarama has the paring knife so I can go back and get one that matches this sort of a print better because I love how this looks. But for now, I'll, I'll take the one from, uh, from Amazon. All of the knives have a pretty good weight to them. They don't feel cheap. I'm really excited to wash them and start using them. At Dollarama, they do have the paring knife, but I wasn't able to find it. So this is an Amazon purchase for the paring knife. However, the five inch or 12.7 centimeter serrated utility knife, which is great for uh, cutting through bread, fruits and vegetables. This was from Dollarama. Absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. It was $4. I got two of them. 
And then the eight inch or the 20.3 centimeter chef's knife, which is a versatile knife that's great for chopping, dicing, slicing, and mincing, was also from Dollarama. And I paid $4 for this one as well. Absolutely worth every penny. I'm going to continue to look to see if I can find other knives that match this set. Again, check out my short because these knives come in different colors and I was able to capture that on my short Dollarama finds. I wanted to show you guys that I opened the knives and on it, this is the one from Amazon. There was a sticker that says hand wash only, dry immediately. And the ones from Dollarama has the exact same sticker on it. So again, the instructions are hand wash, dry immediately. And that's how you preserve the life of these knives. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Check out your local Dollarama, see what it is that you can find and leave me a comment in the comment section about some of your favorite Dollarama finds. Until then, I'll see you all in my very next video.